Hello and welcome to Wisconsin in Focus, powered by the Center Square. I am Dan McKayla, Vice President of News and Content at the Franklin News Foundation, which publishes the Center Square Newswire Service. Joining me again today is Benjamin Yount, the Center Square's Wisconsin correspondent. How are you, Ben? Getting ready to get ready to be ready for Christmas. That's code word for my wife has texted me and told me I have to find the Christmas tree before Saturday night. So apparently we're having people over to put up the Christmas tree on Saturday night. You're more than welcome to come, Dan. You do a fresh tree every year, Ben? You go out and- no, look, I, 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 I love my family at Christmas. Christmas, one of my favorite holidays, but uh, I don't need to be stepping on pine needles for two months because we wanted to have, I, I, they, they sell Christmas tree scented candles that do the same thing with the uh, aluminum tree that's been in my basement for six years. I thought maybe you were like Chevy Chase in the Christmas vacation movie where you go out deep into the, uh, into the Wisconsin wilderness, you know, drive, <laughs> drive all the way up to the North woods, get my ax out. No. No, I hey, look. I, I'll, I'll drink the eggnog. I'll wear the dicky, but uh, no, I'm not chopping down any trees. I hear you. I am the same way, Ben. We are recording this on Thursday, November 30th. Republican U.S. Congressman Michael Gallagher, Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin, who leads the uh, House Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party, said his committee is looking into whether the Chinese are using giant port cranes to spy on Americans. Ben, I got to be honest with you. I'm not even sure I know what a giant port crane is, but Tell us more about this. Yeah, you got to you got to remember that an awful lot of the stuff that we buy here in this country comes to us from China. If you've ever been out on the ocean, uh, we saw it when we went dolphin watching down in Savannah, Georgia, that these huge Coso, C-O-S, oh, not Costco, but the Chinese overseas shipping company, the, the COSCO ships, they're all over the place and they bring televisions and shoes and watches and cell phones and everything under the sun. Most of the junk in my house and probably yours as well, made in China, brought over across the, the sea to the United States. And at these port facilities, they have these massive Sort of doubles. Think think of an H with a crane in the middle, and they, they you know you pull the ship up, the arm drops down, picks up those those shipping containers, puts it on the back of a flatbed trailer, and boom, down the interstate it goes. Those cranes, in order to make sure that you know ships are in the right spot and trucks are in the right spot and people are in the right spot, they're covered in cameras. They are as high tech as anything else. And the concern, apparently, is that the Chinese are either adding an extra camera or simply just keeping an eye on the video that comes in through those cameras and noticing patterns, noticing the routine, noticing where the cameras are, where the cameras aren't getting a count on this, getting a count on that. Because, you know, information is power. And when you have information on everything, you get a sense of what everything is. And so Gallagher this week said that they have been working with Homeland Security to take a look at the vulnerabilities at seaports. And this comes as the Department of Homeland Security earlier this week said that they were going to focus on, you know, seaports and and the, the, the supply chain. They announced this supply chain resilience center. Uh, which is going to be one more thing that the federal government's going to have to keep an eye on for the security of this nation. And this is certainly this is just one an, another example of concerns about um, Chinese spying. You've mentioned that the Congressman Gallagher is big on this issue. He's he serves on this uh, where he leads this House Select Committee on Chinese Communist Party. Um, so th- this is something that he's been deeply involved with investigating. Yeah, he has made no bones about it that he views the Chinese Communist Party, not the not necessarily the people of China, but the CCP. He called it in talking about this, this possible port spying, said the CCP in particular represents an existential threat to U.S. security and will use every level of power to gain an advantage over the United States and our partners and allies. And this is this is one of these ones that you know, we are old enough to remember the Cold War and the just general distrust of anything and everything Russian. You know, they, they didn't sell sell Stoli vodka in this country for forever because there was a, a, a distrust of anything and everything Russian. 
Gallagher has a deep seated distrust, skepticism of the Chinese Communist Party. And, and he's raised other concerns, other security concerns that, you know, folks here in the United States are not taking seriously the threat of, of Chinese spying. And so that he is piggybacking on this announcement from the Biden administration of a new supply chain resilience center and saying, hey, guys, we we've been looking at this, too, and you need to take this seriously. It is unsurprising and it's a thousand percent on brand for congressman gallagher who really has been one of the leaders uh raj krishamorthy who's an illinois congressman he's the democratic chair of this subcommittee as well uh but gallagher has really been out there banging the drum getting not just press here in in wisconsin but he's on fox news at least once a month with a new concern that he has about the chinese communist party you on tiktok man just curious no, good Lord. No. First of all, I don't dance. And uh, and B, I don't I, I say stupid things out loud for a living. I don't need to do stupid things on the Internet for a living as well. Of course, many, uh, many in, in Congress and elsewhere have raised concerns about TikTok with its ties to the Chinese Communist Party and the fear that maybe it's stealing data from Americans, um, just everyday life Americans who are using the platform. Anyway, Ben, let's uh, uh, wish uh, Congressman Gallagher well. Um, he's doing important work on the subcommittee he leads and certainly what's going on with Chinese uh, Communist Party spying on Americans is something we need to get to the bottom of. Ben, we are out of time. I appreciate your insight into this. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. For Ben Yount, I'm Dan McCaleb. Please subscribe and thank you for listening. Knowledge is power, and you deserve to know what happens in your state government. That's why the nonprofit Franklin News Foundation is bringing you straight news journalism through the Center Square, reporting on state authorities and publishing stories that show where your money goes and who spends it. By supporting the Center Square, you can track politicians' use of taxpayer money and demand transparency from elected officials. This is how we can equip everyday Americans to hold their government accountable. Become a supporter of Franklin today at franklinnews.org donate.